Oh, hell. So the tank is done, uh, at least when it comes to the general disposition. Um, I have the rods connecting, or the piping and the pipe holders connecting the bottom half that we did and the top half that we did. So now it's, it's about starting to plan all the components, the wiring, uh, and the cooling system, and uh, general presentation of the demo. Now when I did the top here I accidentally uh, forgot that I need to do more holes. I need to do a certain kind of holder to hold the motherboard. I want the motherboard to be held by some kind of contraption attached to the top. So if you need to lift out anything from maintenance everything is connected to the top. So you don't end up in a situation where you lift the top off, you still have all the electronics in the bottom with wiring going through the top, so you need to start disconnecting and reaching in maybe where you can't reach very very good. So any maintenance job, if I wouldn't attach to the top, would be a lot, lot uh, harder and more inaccessible. So uh, I'm, I'm just gonna keep that detail in mind, I'm gonna drill two holes extra in this uh, to support some kind of frame that goes down into the tank and hold it. Uh, and then I also need to make an uh, extra hole uh, for refilling Novik because unfortunately Novik gas is very very good at escaping. Uh, so there will come times when you need to refill uh, Novik for this demo because it will evaporize. So I'm just gonna make a little refill hole with a, with a you know, kind of lid or something um, that you can, you know, just refill in. So, next step, plan those three holes and make the, uh, the entrance for the Novik refill or the lid for the Novik refill and, of course, the uh, construction that's going to hold the motherboard. So, that's the next step. Okay, so my idea for the motherboard holder is quite straightforward. Um, I'm gonna use a 12 millimeter copper rod uh, and I'm gonna bend it into a U shape uh, and then I'm just gonna attach it down into the tank from there to there, about from there to there, uh, going down and then I'm gonna make some kind of 3D printed parts that snaps onto this frame and in turn also holds the motherboard. Because then I can just be quite crude doing this and then uh, I can adjust the fine details with a 3D printed model instead. So I'll start with this, I'm gonna bend this to a U shape, this rod, uh, and try to make I don't know, holes in the back a little, maybe all the way back there, and uh, yeah, that's it. bent the tubing now and if we put it like there somewhere you can see that it's a pretty good uh, width now if I change this one for the actual tank here you can see that this goes down very nicely and it's basically at the same height here as the lid but I'm probably gonna have it lifted up a little, like so. And I can see here that I can't really put it too far back, because then it, it will hit the, the sides. So I'm probably gonna stick with 
I don't know. But, yep, we'll work with this, see where it leads us. Now, I'm thinking I'm actually going to make one more, but with a little shorter distance here. And I'm just gonna test it as well to see which could be the better option. Because this is the best option when it comes to the width. For the simple reason that the motherboard is basically the same width. So you can see here. So that could actually yield a much nicer look design-wise and easier because I can just make very, very simple attachments in the motherboard's own uh, you know, attach holes here. This is like spot on onto the, those holes. But at the same time, if I do that, uh, then it needs to be basically at the center. I don't have very much room to go on. So when I'm checking in the tank here next to me, I can see that I can be off by about two centimeters from the center, which will put it about here. Okay, so I've been thinking a little. Uh, I mean, I've been cutting this now, so it's uh, the same length in both. It looks quite nice, actually. But I do believe that the center here is just a little bit, you know, it's just a little bit too wide. If I use this as is, then I need to have it very much in the center of the tank. And considering that the motherboard, you know, needs to be leaning in the tank. Um, I really can't do much uh, in terms of, you know, putting it like, like this or that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut it here and I'm going to 3D print um, something that can hold the two halves together. So I'm going to cut it here, I'm going to cut it there, so and, and print a little holder uh, so I can adjust the width of this, so it's easier to experiment when I'm building. So that's the next step. Two nice pipes. So now I can actually, you know, if I want it only that long, then I do it that long with a little piece together here. Or if I want it longer, I can do it longer. Now I, of course, have an option here if I want to stick with that, because now I have cut the pipe. So if I do it now, so they go through the top, then I can make this the refilling for the Novik as well. So this goes through the top, I can put a little cap here and because it's no longer a solid unit down here when I do the 3D printed part I can make a little opening so when I refill the, the Novik on top here it goes through the pipe into the tank. It's a very elegant solution I think. We'll see if I'm gonna use that. Uh, it depends on a few things as I go. That's the plan. So let's uh, Let's go and do the 3D print part. Okay, so we're back. I have now 3D printed a few parts uh, to make the motherboard sit on top of this pipe here. And this is what I have been 3D printing. It's uh, one holder on this side that attaches to the, to the rod here and then to the motherboard with just screws and then the same on this side just a holder that sticks to the rod and with screws on the motherboard and then I also have printed a little spacer here that I attached so the motherboard wouldn't go too much down on this construction and of course I also left this so in case we want to fill Novik within the pipes, 
we can do that using the pipes. I'm quite happy with this result. Uh, it looks neat. It's still ample uh, space for uh, all the cabling. So now uh, I need to devise some means to attach it to the top here. So I need to figure out where the cooler will be. It's going to be there. And then about where the center of the tank will be. Should be about there. Let's see. Yeah. I think I would actually stick with that. It will also be very nice to have these lines that I drew for the triangle before as a guide. So this looks actually like this will be the perfect spot here. So yeah, I will use the, the lines I've already drawn to attach the rods. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so here I found a 12 millimeter drill and I just took a normal other drill because I need to do the pilot holes first. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now I have some rubber because uh, I attached that before, but I don't think that will be an issue. I don't have to worry particularly much about these holes when I cut them open because yes this should be an issue for gas but I'm gonna attach the rods here and then I'm gonna have like washers just uh, holding everything together uh, and bolts and nuts so this will fix itself I hope at least so let's see There we go. It's quite neat. That could actually work pretty nice, I hope. So, yep, that in here. Little test fit here. That. <laughs> that looks really good. I'm quite happy with that, actually. And then we have the pipes coming up here. We have a little bit of uh, margin so I can attach those with bolts as well and maybe attach one of those screw lids so I can easily get access to it to refill Novik. Now it's actually starting to to look decent. <laughs> 